Okay, this is going to be video one of wheel alignment for a class eight truck. So, a uh, little intro thing here. We're going to be using this Hunter alignment machine with the distance learning. You, know, you won't be able to actually use this in the shop until maybe next year, but anyway, we need to run through it to get the task sheets and the chapter for this week done. So, it's PC based. Uh, big monitor on it keyboard we've got sensors that mount to it so these are going to be mounted on the wheels around the truck they have a uh, basically a laser type sensor in each one of them so what they do is form like a hologram around the truck so there's going to be one mounted to a rear axle one to a front on each side and when this is all done everything's set up the lasers actually measure distance angles and all this so that's how we do a front end alignment on one of these trucks now these sensors are wireless They've got a little indicator light here on the end to tell you when they're charged up and they actually charge through the machine. So when you take this off, there's an electrical connection, a little button in here. So when you put the sensor onto the machine for storage, if it, the machine's plugged up, uh, it will charge this little internal battery that it's actually in this little tube right here. So the back sensors are short. The front sensors are long. They have a long beam coming off the front because this beam is actually going to look at the beam on the other side. It'll make more sense when we get it all set up that there's a laser inside here and inside the other one and on the sensor as well. So. <clears throat> We're going to set this up using cords. The batteries are starting to get bad in these sensors, so uh, you can cord this when you get it all connected and back to the machine. You'll see when we get it hooked up, we'll do the calibration, but uh, there are cables that you can run. When we go through the alignment, I want to show you a deal where that you actually have to use cables and can't use the wireless, so we'll get to that later. Sensors have to be put on right. There's where that it'll work properly so we'll go through that when we get them hooked up to the truck now this truck has an old steel wheel it has a big lip here to mount these sensors to so this pivots turns these will be turned this way to mount to this particular truck because of the lip that's on the wheel uh, some wheels are made differently, so these may have to turn around and grab the outside. It's always better to mount them from the inside, but there's one of these on each side, top and bottom. If you get the aluminum wheels, like a lot of the trucks have on them now, you have to use the proper adapters. So the alignment machine comes with a set of these Alcoa adapters. They're made to grip those aluminum wheels you gotta make sure these sensors don't come off because if they hit the ground, it will knock them out of calibration and it'll cost you six to $800 somewhere in there to have them come out the company and calibrate the sensors again where they'll be accurate. So you gotta make sure that we install them with the right adapter and properly. So the aluminum ones, you won't be able to grab the inside. These are made to go especially around the outside of the aluminum wheel, grip it to stay on there. So if you have to use the adapters, there's a little o-ring on here that lets it snap into place so that would just slide on snap in when you put it on all the way they also have these other ones we've never had to use these on any wheels we've had in here but you can take this whole thing out if that adapter works better turn it over and put it back in you just have to turn all of them if you're going to do that so this setup is going to work for what we're going to do with this truck has a remote so you have to walk back and forth as you go through the alignment and you go to the next screen there's a remote here that you can use and hit 
to uh, save you having to walk back and forth. There is also a removable remote here that hangs on the back of the machine. If you're doing adjustments on some vehicles on the back of the truck, you may not be able to see the screen on the alignment machine. You can take this wireless, it comes off of here, just a little box. You can take that under the truck with you. It will give you a display of the stuff that you're trying to adjust, as well as it will uh, allow you to select different screens. Gives you a little more options than the little handheld remote up there. So another, another, another useful little tool on this machine. The main on off switch is back here on the back, but usually we just leave it on and then open and close it like you would a computer or start it and shut it down like you would a computer. As you can see, we got a big display here. We've got our time. When you start it up, it's gonna to come to here so you can begin alignment. There's the exit aligner when you wanna shut it down. When you do that, it's gonna go through the shutdown process to shut the computer down just like you would a laptop or a desktop.